This is Steve the Traveling Gringo in Guanajuato, Mexico, rocking the monster poncho. And so let's jump into the video today and we're gonna talk about sports, something I never talk about on this channel, but let's get right to it. Okay, so something again that I never really talk about and that is sports. And I am a diehard Las Vegas Raiders fan. I grew up uh, in Northern California. The Raiders are originally from Oakland. And one of the biggest sports stories uh, on the planet has been that of their coach, John Gruden, and some emails he sent. Now, I'm not here to rehash that. That's gone all over the internet. It's been the biggest story. But there's a, a tremendous lesson that we can learn from that that I really do want to share with you. So just if you're not a sports fan, which many of you who follow my channel very well may not be, uh, he got caught over the last 10 years, up to the last three, four years, sending emails that were quite inappropriate, things that were maybe uh, uh, against women, things against homosexuals, things, uh, maybe some racist slander. They uncovered some emails that he had sent and those leaked into the Washington Post and the New York Times. And since then, he's been fired. Now, there's been all kinds of controversy. One from folks saying, ah, that's just our woke generation. Uh, other people saying it's horrible what he did, which uh, it's hard to justify the emails by any means. But then there's controversy over the fact that they were investigating a completely different franchise. They went through 650,000 emails, and the only thing they found are these emails from Coach John Gruden, and since the Raiders have now fired him. So here's the big part. Everybody then said the season's over. People were talking about how there's no way the Raiders can win. They can't compete. They don't have their head coach. Way too much drama going on. And if for those of you that are involved in sports, being focused, right? Having the right mindset is huge. And so everyone expected them to come out and play horrible and pretty much the season to be over. And so Sunday rolled around this last past Sunday, and they played the Denver Broncos, who's one of their arch rivals, a, a, one of their division opponents. And the Raiders came out and played their best game of the season. Not only did they win the game, but they won it um, quite easily. Matter of fact, I mean, they dominated in all three phases of the game. And so why do I bring this up and why do I share this on my Van Life Spirituality type channel? I share it this way. Because in life, things happen. You cannot control everything that happens, but you can control how you respond to it. I've never been prouder of the Raiders organization, how they handled this, how the players got focused, they came out, they performed in spite of the distractions. One of my favorite poems or readings is by Dr. Charles Swindoll entitled Attitudes. And it ends by saying this. He says, I am convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% on how I respond to it. And so it is with you. We are in charge of our attitudes. And so I'll tell you, we're living in a time right now where there's crazy things going on in the world, regardless of if you're the liberal side or the conservative side, whether you uh, should get jabbed or you shouldn't get jabbed, regardless of your personal feelings on how things should be handled in this pandemic. We are living in a very you could say difficult time, but here's the reality. It doesn't matter what's happening. What matters is how are you responding to it? What are you doing with it? What is your mindset? Where is your energy at? I'll tell you what, happiness is an inside job. You can be happy in spite of what's going on externally. Now, obviously things can happen. We have emotions, uh, but to, to, to hang out in those emotions, to hang out in the grief, or the anger, or the frustrations, or the despairs. Listen, it's an inside job. If you get control of what's going on right here, you can control your outside feeling and your outside emotion. Robin Sharma, one of my favorite quotes that I say a lot, said that you can, uh, your mind, your mind is a wonderful servant, but it is a horrible master. Let me ask you, is your mind your servant? Or is your mind your master? So how are you responding to what's going on? I'll tell you what, it is a choice. Your attitude is a choice despite of the circumstance, the situation, and the condition. With that, again, my name is Steve. I'm the Traveling Gringo. If this message spoke to you today, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And with that, I'll see you next time. Peace, God bless, namaste.